Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept string yes and print yes if it is a palindrome. Yes, we should print no. Now, there can be some modifications to the character to make it as a palindrome. Like the possible modifications are if the character is A, then it can be modified to B as there is no character in previous position. And if character is Z, then it can be modified to Y as there is no character in next position. So you can see that for small case A, the modification will be in small case B. So this is case sensitive. Then for character B, it can be modified to A, that is the previous character or C, the next character. So now for the character capital H, it can be changed to G or I, previous and the next. Now we'll take our first test case. Here, they are not in palindrome as of now. We will check the first character and the last character that is A and C. Then we will check the second character and the last but one character. So now this can A can be modified to the character B. That is the next character. Then C can be modified to B, that is the previous character. Now, F can be modified to the previous character E, then D can be modified to the next character E. So now we have got the palindrome. So we will print yes. Now we'll take our another test case. So now when we check the first and the last characters, they are equal then it is D and C. So we'll modify D to C as it is the previous character. Now for H and I, we'll modify this H to I. That is the next character. Then when you see A and Z, then the uh, there is the previous position is not there for A only can be modified to B and Z can be modified only to Y. So they cannot be made equal. So we will print no. Now we will understand our key idea through our first test case. So we are taking the ASCII values of A and C that is 97 and 99. Now the difference between the absolute difference between the ASCII values are 2. So when they are lesser than or equal to 2, we can modify them and make it as a palindrome. Now in this case for A and Z, the ASCII values are for A it is 97 and for Z, it is 122. So the absolute difference between A and Z is greater than 2. So it cannot be modified to a palindrome. Then we'll print no. So we will find the ASCII value of character 1 and the ASCII value of character 2, the absolute difference. So when they are lesser than equal to 2, it's possible to form the palindrome, else it is not possible and will print no. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get the string as our input. Then we will find the length of the string. Now we'll run a for loop for index in range. Since it is a palindrome, we'll find half of the length. Now we will initialize the character one and character two. 
that is the S of index and S of L minus index minus one. Now this will represent the first character and this will represent the last but one character. So now we will check whether if the absolute difference between the ASCII value of character 1 and ASCII value of character 2. So here ORD will give the ASCII values of the character. So when their difference is greater than 2, we are going to print no. As characters cannot be modified to make it as a palindrome. So we will break the loop. Then our else part. Since we have used break, we have used this else part. So we will print yes here. Now let us execute our program. First we will give our first test case. The output is yes, which is correct as discussed in our logic video. Then we will give our second test case. So the output is no as you can see this a and z cannot be modified to make it as the same characters. Then for our third test case, we have got the output as yes, which is correct. As you can see, A and B can be modified, then Z and Y can be modified, then A and B, then Z and Y, G and E and U and W. So, hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.